Well, Sheree and Mike, residents here at Steeplechase Apartment Complex tell us they feel violated and horrified that one of their maintenance workers was caught putting cameras in bathroom vents. Now, authorities tell us that 65-year-old Gerald Rowe is now locked up here in Warren County because he caught himself on camera in the act. Authorities say a maintenance worker at the Steeplechase apartment complex was hiding cameras and bathroom vents for months here in Deerfield Township. Warren County Sheriff say 65 year old Gerald Rowe of Milford is now locked up after he caught himself on one of the cameras. People living here horrified. It's a big privacy issue, you know, that makes me feel really violated. They knew him and they trusted him and that was part of the horror that they've gone through today besides the heinous invasion of their privacy in the one place where you feel the safest at your home. Police tell us a resident uncovered the camera. The sheriff's department launched an investigation finding a total of five cameras, all in the apartments of young women. Michelle Weinscott says Roe was in her apartment at least once, fixing her kitchen sink. You would have never guessed that he was that type of a person. Like, he, he was super nice. I never got a bad vibe from him. Investigators say Roe worked here at Steeplechase for about a year and a half. The cameras installed were small devices, about half the size of a smartphone and several inches thick installed as far back as February of this year. And you could see it on their faces, you know, they all they all were crying and very emotional and all, all of the emotions. And like you said, that's not something that just goes away because now you know the camera's not there tonight. Sheriffs also say Roe is a father and grandfather and had no prior record. I can imagine if he has a daughter what, you know, he would do if that was his daughter that was being put on camera without her knowing. Now again, Roe is locked up tonight here in the Warren County Jail without bond. He faces five charges of burglary and five charges of voyeurism. Reporting live in Deerfield Township, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5.